I'm Mari with Mari Sews, and thanks for hanging with me, you all. So today is day four of Vlogmas. Yesterday, I had shared some of the things that I was actually working on, some gifts that I'm actually making for people. And well, I did get one finished yesterday. And so I went, definitely, I definitely wanted to share this with you. Now, this is the Ludlow wristlet. And you all, I will have to say, this wristlet was nowhere on my radar until one of my wonderful subscribers actually told me about the pattern from Hold It Right There Patterns. So the Ludlow wristlet has two zipper compartments. There's the one on top and then there's this one right here on the front. The top one, when you open it up, it has eight card slots and then it has an actual pocket right here which is really handy because you don't need a extra wallet to carry around. You can just put your cards that you need and take this with you, which I appreciate. And then the front zipper compartment is just a little pocket. Now I will absolutely use this to put my phone in. Well, this is a gift for a friend. So if this was mine, I would actually, I would absolutely put a phone down in this pocket. I actually don't like having to dig around the inside of my bags for my phone. So when there's an extra little pocket on the outside of my bag, that's typically where my phone goes. The one change that I made to this pattern was because I was using leather, I decided to go ahead and put a rivet right here instead of sewing the actual tab into the bag. I've noticed that with some of my first bags that I've made from leather and given to family, the actual leather tabs have pulled out over time just because the stitching there isn't strong enough. So I did put a black rivet in there. You can see the back there. This bag is six inches high, nine inches wide, and then it's about an inch and three quarters right here. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty sizable little wristlet. If you've made the Ludlow wristlet or any of the other patterns by Hold It Right There, um, definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, I'd be really curious to know what you all look for when you're going to buy a bag. Are you looking for extra pockets and card slots or zippered options just let me know in the comments below because i am really curious and i do want to make more bags now let's talk about materials so i used a black leather for all of the trim and the top part up there as well as the strap and this tab this leather was actually repurposed from a leather jacket that my mother had given me actually i don't know why she had so many leather jackets but she gifted me five leather jackets that she was no longer using and they were all black. So I've got plenty of leather that I can repurpose for more bags. <laughs> Thank you, mom. <laughs> the, um, the floral pattern in the front is actually a silk Mikado that I've had in my stash. And I just thought that it would be a wonderful choice for my friend who's going to be getting this bag because her favorite color is pink. So putting this bag together actually took much longer than what I'm used to. And I think the reason behind that is that I couldn't decide on which pieces need to go out of the different fabric for my color blocking. And actually for my next version, I will change some of the fabric that I used. For example, there's this piece right in here that I cut out of the leather and it just made it incredibly bulky and difficult to sew when I got to this seam right here um, because there's a pleat so then you're going through I don't know how many <laughs> layers of leather and fabric. Next time I'll definitely cut that out of the floral fabric as well. There are a ton of steps in the instructions. Actually there are 66 of them and Ooh wee that's a lot. So I decided to follow the video tutorial for this, which was extremely helpful. When I'm learning new techniques or how to do new things, I always tend to gravitate towards a video tutorial. I do it when I'm sewing garments. For example, if I'm sewing a Mimi G pattern and I have a difficult collar that I need to put on, I will absolutely watch her video and follow along so that way I know exactly what she's doing and if there's any tips or tricks that I can pick up 
that's where I typically get them from. So I felt that that was really handy with this one. The one thing that did kind of, I don't know, I, I wish would have been a little different was that in the video, there were points when she referenced the pattern piece and said, okay, now go back to your instructions and follow what it says there. And I just thought that it would have been nice if the information would have been all in the video so that way I didn't have to go back and dig out the instructions to figure out where to sew something. Sewing with leather is a little different than sewing with um, fabric or other materials. So when it came to the actual strap here, I didn't do all the extra folds that they recommend that you do so that way you don't have any raw fabric on the edge. Instead, I folded my fabric in half and then I top stitched along both edges there. I don't know if you can see that. So along both edges, but because this stuff was a little on the stretchy side, some of my fabric did move and the edges weren't exactly even. Not a problem because I ended up just going back in with my rotary cutter and trimming down the edge there so that way it was all even. And then instead of sewing the actual straps together, I placed a rivet in there. Um, so that's just really durable, extra strength. This strap isn't going to come apart at any point. The one thing that I would actually do differently is next time I would actually choose a different interfacing. Now this pattern doesn't tell you which interfacing to use or make any recommendation other than woven interfacing. And so that was a little difficult because as a new bag maker, it's kind of nice to know, well, this is what it would look like if you used Decoville Light. This is what it will look like if you're using SF-101, things like that. So I did use Decoville Light for all of the interfacing on both the bag exterior, the fabric, the silk Mikado, as well as on the inside. And you all, when I turn this bag right side out, when you birth the bag, <laughs> there's all these wrinkles. Let me show you. Can you see those wrinkles? That actually bothers the heck out of me. And I'm not sure if it's because I used a poly lining with the Decoville light or if I just need to get rid of the Decoville light. So in my next version of this one that I'm going to be making for another person, I'm going to use SF-101 and the poly lining to see how that acts when I turn this bag all right side out. If any of you all are bag makers and you know what the cause of all of this fabric wrinkling is on the inside, please let me, let me know what the magic trick is to not getting all of that because that is going to drive me bonkers. Because of the wrinkling and the lining inside of this bag, I actually questioned if I was going to gift it or not. Um, I think I'm just, I think I'm still going to gift it. I'm just going to give it to my least favorite person. <laughs> no, 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 that's a lie, that's a lie. <laughs> actually, I'm still going to give it to the intended person. I'm going to let her know the issues that I had with it. And I feel comfortable enough with her that I think she'll still absolutely love it and understand that my bags are only going to get better. <laughs> I think this bag is a really good pattern and I absolutely recommend it. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you all that the instructions actually come with these tabs that you can attach to the back here and you can turn this into a hip bag, you know, a little fanny pack that you wear around your waist or hips. So that's also nice because this pattern does come with that option. <laughs> well, this is my amazing Ludlow wristlet that I am going to be giving as a Christmas gift to one of my amazing friends. If you're curious about any of the other Christmas gifts that I'm making, check out this video right over here. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.